the main reason for writing the article was that you know there are lot of things uh, floating around about cell phone radiation how it's harmful and uh, you know main most of people who think this are activists who don't have uh, any scientific knowledge scientists have a role to explain to the society what uh, what is the scientific basis for any uh, fear that uh, cell phone radiation can have as we explain in my article uh, the the photons that come out of a cell phone just don't have enough energy to break a bond and cause a mutation or damage the dna i mean the kind of energy required for that is what is available in uh, x ray photon or uv photon even visible uh, light that you get from the sun cannot uh, have enough energy and this is the reason why X-ray technicians are required to wear lead aprons and wear coats at the room, so that they are not exposed to the X-ray that the patient is exposed to. And uh, I mean, uh, you when you go out in the sun, if you go out in the morning when there is a lot of UV radiation, the UV can cause damage and cause skin cancers or something. but not the visible radiation that you normally get from the sun so even standing in the sun will make you feel hot but it won't damage you and the sun is about 10000 times stronger than a cell phone remember that the uh, sun temperature is a few million degrees whereas a cell phone is a room temperature and runs off a small battery how can it give you any energy to do any damage if you want to heat something you have to use something a microwave oven and in the house the microwave oven is the uh, largest energy guzzler and use a few kilowatts of uh, electrical energy uh, remember that uh, cell phone run the a small battery which you can charge with a uh, you know with a few uh, milliamps of current so there's just not enough power in the cell phone to cause any heating any significant heating of course the side is a minute we have to say that even a uh, 0.01 degree is heating but Uh, 0.0 degree I mean uh, to see any significant heating you have to change the temperature by a few uh, tens of degrees so cold water if you put in the microwave will be at 30 degrees and hot water will be at may 80 degrees and so that uh, 50 degree change temperature cannot be caused by a cell phone when uh, organization like who uh, gives a recommendation they know that this recommendation is going to be taken worldwide so they have to give a plate very safe and give worst case scenario where you know they will uh, worry that their uh, recommendation should not be misinterpreted and that is why they Well, it's in their interest to say that you know stay away from cell phone towers but uh, there's uh, their advice has never been to reduce in the number of cell phone uh, users or you know the presence of cell phone towers in a place it's just that they recommend uh, staying away staying some minimum distance away from it just because they are uh, they don't want to see anything which can be misinterpreted
world wide all epidemic studies have shown no health no ill effects and uh, even in india whatever studies have been done have shown no ill effects of these thing so the only reason to be continually afraid of this is because of fear mongers most of the people uh, with the reason they want to continue act, uh, being active against it is because they love some vested interest in uh, in uh, continuing this fear and uh, let me conclude by saying that you know uh, one of the common fears about your cell phone just uh, that causes brain cancer Uh, man uh, you have to understand that cancer is a very uh, many the disease that when you get it you are always wondering what did i do to get this disease you want to find some reason for it and uh, use cell phones is a easy enough answer to give and uh, but any time uh, And this kind of thing is brought in front of court. The judge has always turned out. And because there is no scientific base for saying it, you can only, uh, you know, in your mind think that your cancer was caused by the U.S. phone. So, uh, whenever you get Rachel uh, cancer, you want to understand why you got it. and what is your do and the cell phone is the answer for this